loading the valve. Advance the outflow tube, tapered, over the catheter tip. Gently squeeze the outflow part of the frame. Insert the outflow part of the frame into the outflow cone. Continue to slowly insert the frame into the outflow cone. Make sure that the frame is completely within the outflow cone. Secure the outflow cap to the outflow cone. Insert the inflow tube, non-tapered. Continue to advance the inflow tube until the frame expands. Insert the catheter tip, distal end, through the outflow aspect. Attach the frame loop to the notch on the catheter deployment end. Cover the frame loops with the sheath by using the micro-adjustment knob on the handpiece. Continue advancing the sheath and check that all frame tips are securely covered inside the sheath. Advance the outflow tube, tapered, over the frame. Remove the outflow cap and inflow tube. Examine pericardial valve leaflets. Slide the outflow cone over the outflow tube and catheter. Slide and advance the inflow cone over the inflow end until it touches the outflow tube. Load the valve by manipulating both the micro and macro adjustments on the handpiece. Remove the inflow cone. Continue to load valve carefully using the handle and outflow tube. Now use fingers at the tip to push the valve into the catheter to complete the loading process. Before using the catheter, remove the outflow tube and outflow cone. Attach a 10 milliliter syringe filled with sterile saline to the T-connector on the handpiece and flush. Flush the guide wire lumen on the catheter. The core valve revalving system is now ready to be used.